Hey guys, it's Fury 91 and I'm talking about team fight tactics. And a lot of people like to tell you, I think, the best comps or what comps they think you should work with, but I'm gonna go a different route. I'm gonna go, what are the easiest comps to get? These are comps that you can get either really quickly or they don't take much money. And now let me just point out that I'm not saying that these are the best comps, but these are pretty easy to get. Also, these are comps that are easy to get all the heroes to level two. Sure, there are some comps where you can get everybody, but it's hard to get them all to level two. So without further ado, number one, wilds. Now wilds are easy to get because two of them are, are only worth one gold and you can get them from basically the start. Before you even start fighting other heroes, just when you're in like the minion phase, you can actually get all the wilds for your comp. Even though it's very unlikely for Rengar to appear, it is possible. And you can have all four wilds at level two for, for just 21 gold. That is very cheap to complete any full comp where all the heroes are at level two. Pirates. Pirates are easy to get because you can get them once again at the beginning. In fact, you can have all three pirates after beating the first set of minions if you get lucky with the roll. And since pirates only need three to complete their full comp, you can really get them relatively quickly. Even before you start fighting anyone, you can get three pirates and you can have them out there and you can have your full comp. Now, with pirates, I would never recommend having them too late into the game, no matter how high level you get them, because pirate comps just gives you money after each match with another player. It doesn't actually give you any benefits during the fight itself. Voids. Voids is another easy one to get because you only need three of the full voids to get the benefit. Now, the benefit is pretty good. It gives them all true damage. And I think true damage tend to mean that you ignore like your enemy's armor. So that's a pretty good bonus, albeit it only applies to voids. So if you have a large team, it's not something that I think will work too far into the late game. It's Phantoms and Guardians. I'm just gonna do these two at the exact same time because they only need two to get to their full comp. They're the only two comps that I know of that only actually need two heroes to get there. And what do their comps do? Well, Phantom does something very interesting. When you have two Phantoms, which could be Mord or Kindred or Karthus, any of the two, one hero on the other side will be dropped to 100 health. Now this is very good late game because this could cause a level three hero possibly to drop all the way down to 100 health. Imagine if the person's big tank in the front that has like over 2000 health is dropped down to 100. That completely ruins their strategy, I believe. Now two guardians, which are either gonna be Leona, Pantheon, or Braum, they cause everybody's armor who's around them to go up by 25. So it's quite possible for your whole team to get a plus 25 armor boost at the beginning of the fight, and that could be the difference maker within the fight, especially in late game when everybody's kinda really high level. And last but not least, sorcerers. Now, sorcerers are strange on the list because they're the only group on my easiest comp list that actually require you to get six heroes. But why are they so easy? Because there are so many sorcerers. There are eight. Sorcerers are the only six comp that actually gives you two extra heroes. Now, yes, you do need about 39 gold at least to get all six sorcerers to level two, but when there's so many sorcerers to choose from, you're bound to get at least one sorcerer almost every single time you roll. So it's just a really safe and really easy comp to go. And it does work well in the late game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at these six easy comps. And hopefully this helps you with what to choose early game and late game in team fight tactics. Let me know what you guys' favorite comps are and what comps do you believe are really easy to get that may not have made this list. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. May God bless you all.